welcome everyone. My name is Tucker West. I'm the Vice President of Yacht Sales for Summit Motor Yachts. Uh, today we're here with Michael Peters, who's the Naval Architect who designed the boat for us. Uh, and I'm going to allow Michael to tell us a little bit about himself and we're going to have a little chat for a couple minutes here and uh, tell, tell you what's coming from Summit Motor Yachts. Well, we're uh, Naval Architects and started off uh, in different parts of the business and through the years have designed uh, about 500 boats now and you know all sizes all speeds and a nice opportunity to do a, a cruising boat with you guys okay well this project started about uh, 12 months ago uh, we ended up interviewing a bunch of different naval architects uh, some of the top names in the business we ended up going with michael based on some of the projects that he's done some of the back office support that he has at his facility on the west coast of florida one thing that everyone asks is you know tell us a little bit about your hull form about what, what makes you, the million dollar question, what makes you different than the other guy? We've been talking about this for the last half hour, so now I'm gonna put you on the spot okay. and ask you the question. Well, it's interesting, you know, most naval architects will tend to have one major hull form that they're very familiar with, and they will try to apply it across the range of boats that they do. Uh, what's a little different about us, probably because we started with a racing background, is that we have five major hull forms that we use. You know, everything from uh, semi-displacement up through, uh, you know, the high-speed race boats. And what we try to do is to choose which of those five hull forms is best suited to the program that we're involved with. So you get into a boat like what the Summit is, and we're not looking for a boat that has got a hull that would allow us to go 40 or 50 knots. We're also trying to be uh, in a higher cruising range so we don't want a full displacement hull. And so we, we come in on a, uh, you know, a hard chine boat with a moderate uh, dead rise uh, as opposed to a deep V that you would use for something that was really high speed and going to be pounding its way through waves. And so as we take that uh, sort of more moderate approach to it, uh, one of the things that we're careful to do is balance both ends of the boat. And by balancing both ends of the boat, what I mean is some boats are very good in head seas, and people will rave about how well they run into a head sea, but they're nothing short of dangerous in a following sea. And what I tell people quite frequently is, a head sea is uncomfortable, a following sea will kill you. And it's, there's no more dangerous point of sea than to be coming, uh, surfing down a wave, uh, either you know, straight into a, head sea, uh, a following sea or a stern quartering sea, and the boat gets all out of shape. So what we try to do is to balance both ends of the boat, and that is not have too fine of forward sections and not have too flat of aft sections. If you have a very sharp for forward area and a flat aft area, what will happen is the stern picks up in a following sea and the bow becomes a rudder. And the bow will steer the boat and there's nothing you can do uh, I mean, controlling the helm to keep the boat from wanting to uh, swap ends on you. So we take a very uh, uh, a, a, a approach to vary the dead rise from bow to stern very evenly. And in this particular case, the summit is uh, running a 15 degree stern. Mm -hmm. When we get up to 16 or 17 degrees, you don't even need a keel anymore. So we're trying to do a boat that is inherently directional, directionally stable and not a boat that relies on a big keel where the stern can get lifted on you and lose control of it. Okay, great. And in, in speaking about that, I want to talk a little bit about the propulsion system. You know, we've, did, we've designed the boat to go with the straight shaft system with the Cummins QSB engines. Uh, we're going to have three stations. We're going to be able to have joystick controlled docking uh, with a cockpit station, a lower station, and an upper station. So you'll be able to walk the boat sideways just like you would with the pods. Um, we're going to get a comfortable high cruise speed of 23 knots with a top end around 26. Uh, we'll be planing in the high teens if you want to back off and drink a little less fuel when you're running the boat. 